Hi Gemini, it's Jodie, your fellow sun sign Gemini. Now I'm back to give you a general and a love reading for the week ahead. I've got my golden universal tarot deck and when I've completed both your readings I will then ask for some messages for you from my oracle decks. I've got some new decks this week so it's really cool. Okay so <clears throat> firstly I'm just going to give the cards a good shuffle. We went to Stonehenge yesterday, absolutely amazing. And um, the footage is available to members, of course, because I had to offer um, different things within a membership, being granted channel membership last month. So if you are interested in gaining a membership with the channel, um, do check out the details in the description box below. Okay, so enough of my rambling. You already know that I love being a Gemini. I tell you every week and every month. Team Gem. Right, so firstly, our general reading. I've got a little green fly just sat here right next to me, um, watching me read. Okay, so hopefully my cards don't squash him. <laughs> what can Gemini expect to be happening, please, over this next week? Oh, big changes. Okay. Got the Tower card. Any more cards, please? What can people born under the sign of Gemini expect to be happening? Oh, gosh, let's have a look. Right. Firstly, the Tower, which does depict big change. So it's quite drastic or dramatic change when the Tower card appears. We then have together the Devil card and the Hierophant. So we've got the Zodiac sign of Capricorn and the Zodiac sign of Taurus. Um, following this, we've then got the Four of Cups. So, Gemini, what is going on? Okay, so I am seeing intimacy here over the next week alongside long-term commitments. Now, following this with the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups here is somebody who is needing um, reassurance. They're more focusing here on what's missing instead of what's there, instead of what they've got. So just be aware to, in, and even in the Four of Cups as well, this can be somebody who is opening up to you on an emotional level and you're just not noticing because you're too busy focusing on different things. Um, so just be aware over the next week of who's making more effort with you or messaging you more. Um, and obviously, if you are being intimate or looking at something long term, you should know who this person is. Let's clarify the Tower card. Can you please clarify why the Tower card is here? Okay, we've got the Page of Swords. Um, Page of Swords can be somebody that's younger, can also indicate spying, um, and can also indicate quite like communication. Let's clarify this card. Further clarification. Can you please clarify the Page of Swords? We've got the Ten of Swords. So we've got here communication between you both that is actually um, bringing an ending to mental frustrations here on your part. So by communicating with each other, you're actually helping each other mentally, bringing an ending to mental frustrations. Okay, so lots of support between you both here, um, as I've already said lust, desire, intimacy and the devil card, um, possible long-term commitments in the Hierophant and Four of Cups, just try to be aware of who's making more effort towards you than usual. Okay, on to our love reading anyway. So this is just basically like an extended love reading. So we'll see what we get. The cards being banged on the table, in case you don't already know, when readers do this, it's to release energy. So it's basically shaking off the energy from the cards to restart with the next question. 
Okay, and our monthly readings for May, they are already available on the channel. So I will place a link for Gemini's monthly readings. Okay. What can Gemini expect to be happening, please, over this next week within love and romance? Well, we've got a couple of cards flipped. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Okay, first we've got the Seven of Cups. So we've got emotional confusion, not quite knowing what to do. We have the Queen of Cups. So we've got depth of emotion here with the um, Queen of Water. We have the Six of Cups. Gemini, I'm literally going to turn it into a paper aeroplane and throw it in the air. This card appears for us so much, literally, all the time. Um, so somebody returning from your distant or recent past feelings and emotions being expressed towards each other um and generosity too in this card we've then got the six of swords clear support being given um this is mental and emotional support so whether you are giving support or receiving it or mutually between you both and then we have the king of pentacles so seeking something secure seeking long term um and seeking something comfortable wanting to be comfortable okay let's clarify some of these cards firstly seven of cups emotional confusion can you please clarify why the seven of cups is here why is the seven of cups here please okay we've got the eight of pentacles so working on it yourself literally putting in the effort to work out what it is you, you want, where it is you're wanting to be, and working mainly on your own emotions to try and figure it out. So writing your thoughts, your feelings down on paper, always a good idea. And we are the communicators of the Zodiac, so communicating with people that you know you can trust, again, is a very good idea. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Can you please clarify the Six of Cups? Why is the Six of Cups here, please? Okay, we've got the Magician, which could be that you've manifested this yourself. And we have the Ace of Swords. So we've got positive communication here, especially around feelings and emotions. So if this is something you've wanted to manifest, um, brilliant. And it comes to light over the next week. Amazing. Um, if it's not, if you're thinking, oh no, the Six of Cups again. Because I do get those comments on the channel saying, oh no, we always get the Six of Cups. Yes, Gemini, I know. But these, these are general generic readings. They're not personal readings but I hope that they do resonate. Um, right, King of Pentacles, <clears throat> King of Earth. So seeking here comfort, security, something traditional long-term. Can you please clarify the King of Cups? Oh my gosh, Gemini, really? We've got the Hierophant card. Seeking, security, comfort, possibly even marriage with this card. Okay, so on to your oracle messages that green fly still just sat here just he hasn't even budged i've not he's not been afraid throughout all of the cards jumping he's just nicely just sat here um right <clears throat> firstly the power of love deck oh it's gone flying off the table that is so annoying i'm gonna have to go get it are there any messages, please, for Gemini? Okay. So I will go and get the one off the floor, and we've got one here. How annoying is that? Okay, Gemini, this is, a, this is really, really funny. You know, I don't bring my personal life into the readings whatsoever, really. Um, but that is an absolute key word for me this week, acceptance. 
Um, you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Absolutely. That really, really resonates with me this week. And respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Beautiful. Very, very positive and very free-flowing messages. Lovely. Um, right, on to my Moonology deck. So if there's any cross watchers watching, you might not be able to keep up with us Geminis because we talk so, so fast um, and to get the gist of what we're trying to say. Um, but Geminis watching, or if you've got Gemini within your chart, you'll probably understand everything that I'm just saying um, and how quickly I'm talking. Are there any messages, please, for Gemini? Okay, we have three messages. What do I need to release? Waning moon. Hold your vision, fixed moon, and take time to breathe out. Dismenting moon. Definitely, I need to take time to breathe out. Right, last but not least, my Archangel Michael deck. Are there any messages for Gemini, please? Are there any messages for Gemini? Okay. Four messages this week, Gemini. Firstly, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. <clears throat> Now, these messages, as you may already know, they do come alongside prayer. So I will read the prayer aloud and then it's entirely up to you if you wish to read them within prayer. Okay, please help, help me clearly hear, see, feel and know the divine guidance that I've asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. <clears throat> your children are watched over by angels dear guardian angels of my children born and unborn thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and their safety please guide me so that i know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children innocence Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. And last but not least, guarded and protected. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. I thought I'd squash the little green fly, but he's okay. Okay, so Gemini, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the readings. I really hope that they've helped. Do comment, share, subscribe. It does keep the channel going. And I will be back again next week for another general and another, another love reading um if you'd like to book a personal reading with me my details are below in the description box and also channel membership details are below in the description box too so gemini i wish you all the very best have a fantastic week and bye for now